All right, it's time for another one here. Just a quick hit. We're gonna go over these picture frames that we're doing for that one client, you know, shh, down low. But um, I just wanna make sure, as I do, I bring in my last page. This is everything I'm given. But I wanna make sure that there's no confusion. We're not going this way. So again, I just used it to get the sizes and make sure that I know what's up. But uh, even my early attempt of figuring this out, I didn't wanna, I didn't wanna ditch it, but, we're, but not dope, none of this. But it's the idea, so it's kind of what we're doing. So all of this begat this. So we have our, our two different picture frames here. You can see we got quantity six and we got quantity 10. So this is gonna be kind of a high production run, um, but I tried to break it down into a digestible parts. It's what you do. If something's gonna become complicated, like building a car, then you wanna break each step down into a more simplified process, and then it becomes easier actually, so slower, smoother, you know, slow, smooth, smooth, fast, that kind of thing. So um, anyway, so let's just get after it. We'll do the lay of the land and then we'll go over what we got. So I broke it down into the bigs and the smalls. So these are, but they're, they're basically the same parts, same principle, same size, except just the overall dimensions are different, but the width and all that and how it's gonna go together is all, is all the same. So for the bigs, make sure that you're looking for a circle. Um, again, when you're doing a high production run, everything you do starts to add up. So the more reference kisses you sprinkle on everything, it's just more time. So what I did is I went ahead and took the lesser of the two and went ahead and made that one that got a scribe. And to keep from doing a B and, you know, and stencil for, for big, I just did a circle. So look for circles on all of the frame parts that are for the big ones. And uh, the face, obviously, I think you can tell the difference. It's a little bigger. But uh, anyway, so again, time is money. It all adds up. Money is power. Power is pizza. So you've got that, you've got the smalls. So again, same kind of construction, but uh, you'll see no scribe marks other than obviously arrows for direction. Um, but otherwise there's no scribe marks. And obviously everything's smaller, but to take the time to have to sit there and judge each one and sort. And then these are all, these are all the jigs. We'll go over all that, but you're gonna have all 16. The jigs are the same. Again, when you're breaking stuff down from a high production run, a high number, um, then you want to module. You want to try to modulize everything, make everything modular. That way, you don't have again. You don't have to sort out and go. Well, these ones are for this one. This one's you know. So I, I went ahead and made all the jigs are the same for all of them. And then you're going to have your back jigs, which also um, break out into a hanger bar. So this is a double a double duty little piece there. And then these are going to what this is what install is going to put on the wall. These guys here. I'm doing these out of eighth. I originally was gonna do these out of quarter. I don't think it's necessary. So you just wanna make sure that, uh, and again, I know you have to downshift into eighth inch to do these, but um, uh, again, so it changes your, you, you, there's no free lunch. You gotta pay the piper somewhere. So um, anyway, so that's that, watch out for those. So again, there's only four sheets here for routing. So it's not a huge thing. It's just kind of a high production run. So let's break it down. So what we have is it's a two part picture frame that wants to look real fancy. So it's gonna be this floating frame here that goes to the back, that goes onto the wall. And then the actual picture frame itself is a two inch, it's basically a blade sign with a single 090 face attached. Um, and then that floats inside this other frame. So you'll have like, um, where's my put together one here? So you come over here like this right here. So you got, you'll have three sixteenths inch spacing between the actual picture box, which I call the frame, uh, the box frame and the actual outer frame, which will be three inches deep. So when it comes together, it's gonna look all like, ooh, look at that, it's floating. Um, so anyway, so that's how I approached it and that's how you guys are gonna approach it. You'll basically, it's like a two-step process. You're gonna put together the box frame first, essentially a blade sign with one face on it and then um, this back box frame, or the back frame that actually goes to the wall. But the whole thing is gonna be put together as one unit and hung as one unit. So that's kind of how it goes together. So let's just start with the box frame. Um, it's gonna be a single jig. It's, it's, it's only gonna have jigs to the back only because you can see how big these jigs are in order for these jigs. These jigs are actually what are holding this whole thing together because you're gonna then take the back frame and you're gonna screw it with number 10s from the back to the jigs that's gonna hold the box frame and that's how it assembles. But because these jigs are so big, it blocks the front jigs. So there are no back, there are no front jigs. So you're gonna get these bent up 
and then you're gonna put the back jigs in, Clico, and tack, but make sure that you're tacking it in a way that you're gonna be ready to align the face up, and then you're just gonna lords the face on, and the face is gonna do the work of holding everything together. Now this front bar across here, um, it does go inside. That will help hold it together, and so that kind of will help. But So what, what I'm bringing this up is point one of making sure that these are you know, looking good as artwork, because uh, not only do we have a discerning client, as you know, but uh, you want to make sure everything. So whoever's going to be bending these up, if we're getting help, then make sure that these are going to be all bent really well. So you know how we do. We want to be slightly overcooked. We want to make sure that it's nice. And so that way, when you put these back jigs, you want these corners to come together on their own because you're not going to have the luxury of a front jig. So you want to make sure that all that's looking good. You want to make sure these corners are looking good. And then you go ahead and tack your back jigs in but your fronts will be loose a little bit. But like I say, set yourself up for success so you don't have to fight the corners when it comes time to put the face on. So it's paramount that all of this gets bent well. Uh, so if we, have a, if we have somebody helping with that, make sure they're doing it right. We wanna make sure all these corners are gonna come together nice because again, this is gonna be, it's gonna be picture, it's gonna be art, and it's gonna be on the wall. So uh, it's gonna be basically people right here looking at it. So all of this, they can look at all that, make sure that these, you know, that everything's looking good. So that's it for this though. You're just gonna tack all this together, um, get your jigs in, look, you know, get it all nailed down. And then you're just gonna lords on your face. And then the box frame part's done. And then the back frame is gonna be 100% rivet. And uh, so that way, also, if somebody's helping, we can make sure, you know, make sure that it goes together well, but somebody could be helping this. This is low skill, just rivet it together. So the idea behind that is I, I have these broken out here. So you're gonna take your frames, all four pieces are gonna be bent, you know, one, two, you have a one inch and a three inch here. And then you're gonna take your back jig pieces, those go on the inside, that's these guys right here. And they're gonna go on the inside like this, right? And then you're gonna rivet from the back like this, boom, boom. And then that's gonna hold that together. Then you're gonna take this inside triangle piece right here, and you're gonna go ahead and put that in. Now you gotta make sure, cause you know, this is the face forward this way, right? You've got the front. You gotta make sure that this plate goes to the front. So you're creating this pocket back here and that's where the screws are gonna live. So when you go to screw this together, the screws are gonna be right here to hold this whole thing together. And this also gives us pocket for the mounting structure to also live. So it's a hollow back system back here that allows us to operate. So you gotta make sure that you put those triangle things in the right way that they're facing forward like that uh, when you rivet this together. But once you rivet the corner pieces in and you rivet these corner pieces in, it should be super strong, should be good to go. And then at that point we're done with the back frames. So that's gonna be that, and that's gonna be that. Now, this is where the details come in, and we wanna make sure that everything's looking, looking sexy. So when it comes time for the box frames, the front face frames, these box frames stick out a quarter of an inch, okay? So these corners will be exposed to people, obviously the edges will be exposed to people, so we wanna make sure that all of the edges are eased. Once you get this lords on there, um, and, and I'm not talking about just with the deburr tool. You're gonna wanna hit it with the DA. Now we don't wanna turn it into like a big marshmallowy sponge, but we've gotta make sure these corners are gone and we wanna make sure this edge is nice because also what's gonna happen is we're gonna do a digital print and then it's gonna be like that fancy art where the digital, it's gonna wrap around the edge and then it's gonna go around the back. So it's gonna be a full wrap digital print. So we wanna make sure all those edges don't cut the digital print when they're laying it down but also we want to make sure that this doesn't get, you know, that it doesn't hurt somebody, you know, if they bonk it or something like that. So that's all. Just want to make sure with the box frame that that's nice and sexy like that. The other side of it is when you're doing the back, the back frame, obviously you're going to have three inches of unstabilized seam at this point. Because normally what we would do if we're, if we're making a box like this, we would go ahead and run a tax down the seam here. Well, you're not going to have room. Um, inside here, plus we don't wanna see that. So you you have about three quarters of an inch here to tack, but if you don't, you know, but I don't know if we wanna do that, and I still don't know if that's enough to stabilize this. Now, you can take this, after this is painted, this will twist a little bit, and then these, these seams here are gonna move around, and we don't want that, because that'll break the paint, and you'll see silver and all that nonsense. So 
I suggest possibly getting these all built, setting them all up on your table ready to go, and then somebody can pop lords and go along and kind of spread these apart and inject and then come back and maybe even leave a little fillet uh, towards the back where nobody will see it. You can kind of leave a fillet back here um, and then somebody can come right after while it's still up. So it's like a two man process and just wipe and scrape and clean these off, but get some Lords in there and maybe help stabilize all of these corners. Because again, like I say, once this gets painted, we don't want that cracking. And then on the face as well, we kind of want to make that go away. Um, but, uh, but during install and things like that, we don't want this to move around. Now, that being said, once these are assembled, they should be rock solid by the time you laminate everything together. But uh, until then, these will be separated and you know you gotta watch out. So sometimes you don't wanna keep them separated. So what you're gonna do is, um, is stabilize that. Also, um, the other point to this is you're gonna have you know, 16 of these things, you know, different sizes, but we don't wanna beat these up. So this whole edge, front face edge, make sure that nothing gets dinged. I know we're gonna to wanna to treat these like lumber and just stack them up on top of each other, but these face frames need to look, no nicks, it needs to be clean. So again, we need to treat these like they are, they're gonna be for art. So we wanna make sure that you know that everything looks good. So, so again, you just wanna take time to stabilize. We wanna take time to make sure everything's eased and everything's looking good. So when it comes time to, uh, um, to install, now you're just going to take now fab. You're going to you're going to weld these up. These are simple coat hanger things. You're going to take these eighth inch, and then you're going to take these little bracket guys, dog bone them, make sure everything's square, and burn them. Okay. Then uh, install. All you got to do is hang this towards the top, and then the actual like back jig that's eighth also is the hanger bar. So all you got to do is lift it up, slide it down, boom, it's installed. Now if you want, you can maybe put a little bit of uh, like double stick tape down here, like one little tab just to keep it from moving. I realize that these do have to come off sometimes. Um, I, I made sure uh, per JR's request, everything is kind of up towards the top. So all of this will be open. So um, these are actually gonna cover some of the access for the mountains that we're gonna be doing in the letters on the other side of the wall. So these are gonna be similar to like, you know, that picture, that picture that's covering the safe, you know, the secret safe in the movies inside the office there. So these are gonna cover up our access for those letters. So these do have to come on and off, but if, um, you know, these will have some weight to them and I think this will be nice and secure. But uh, if you do wanna nail it down, you know, you have, you have rivet room right here, like we'll have the rivets. So you'll have room for some tape or something, you know, on the bottom. So you can kind of make that choice what you wanna do if you think you need to kind of nail these down. So anyway, uh, but yeah, when it comes time to assemble these, the box frame is gonna to go to first shop. They're gonna put their digital print all the way around it. Then you're just gonna bring it back and then you're gonna set the box frame inside and you'll be able to hit number 10s in the corners and that's gonna suck it together. And then make sure you've got your 3 16 gap all the way around looking sexy. And again, these will stick out about a quarter of an inch out and then we're good to go. And then that whole thing just gets lifted up and it's just slid down onto the hooks and we're done. So that's kind of it. It's simplified. But again, there's a there's some fiddly stuff. So go quickly, but take your time and make sure everything's just handled properly and it's looking real sexy. Otherwise, I think I think that's about it for you guys. Um, but again, as usual, if you have any questions, hit me up. Check, check the